My name is Edgo Diambo and I am a freelance journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. The key factors that affect the slums of Kibera currently is the issue to do with the mental health issues. Today I'm in Kibera and the main reason why guys we're here today is to know more about are they people aware of exactly what is are these are mental health issues. Mental health refers to our physio physiological, emotional and social well-being. Through all this, under the titles of the meaning of mental health, if we refer to social, this is uh, social support that we require from our friends, basically family, so it, it's more, more of a relation. So then if you're talking about emotion, it's more for understanding yourself, inner person of you inside. Mental health includes emotional, psychological and social well-being of a person. It also depends, with the, it, it, it also contributes to how you think and how you feel. Mental health is the state of someone being able to be have some conscious thoughts about something and being able to stand by them. So whereby if you're saying uh, you want to stand by maybe you're taking a certain path, you're supposed to be able to speak it out loud to other people, no matter the criticism you'll be going to get, go through. Yeah, we have four types of uh, mental health. Mental health, like uh, it is a mood disorders. We have mood disorders as part of mental health. Anxiety disorders, we have post traumatic disorders that are affecting the youth. We have uh, also autism, autism is a medical condition, those are people with problems, most probably it's a genetic problem. It contributes to med 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 mental health. We have env environmental issues eh, that contribute to medical med med mental health. So, youth from around, around number one, we have uh, the, the key factor here is uh, post traumatic stress from youth. So, you find uh, some youth around here. Youth, the number one is the economy, the way the economy is, the, the lack of money. If they don't have money, they, it will force them to steal, number one. Uh, to drug abuse, also will force them to get into drug abuse to at least to release themselves from stress. That's another thing of uh, mental health. This kind of people, I'll try to show them that undergoing a lot of stress, stigmatization, everyone usually undergo all these things. So it's a matter of how you're controlling yourself. Because we came to know that we only know about ourselves 10%, but 90% of ourselves we don't know. Actually, our, our mind works after our body has done something. If you feel like you are drowning, drowning, you could maybe have your people, um, a, a certain, a small circle of friends who you can be able to help you, they can help you cope. So the same way, you don't have to sometime re, uh, go reside and say that maybe if I do, maybe if I smoke some weed, it could release the tension. But if you have someone you can vent out to, someone you trust enough, then you are sure that whatever you're telling them, it are back in a while, it could help. According to the awareness of these mental health issues, some of them tend to believe that uh, uh, this is a curse. Some of them tend to believe that uh, these are a uh, medical condition that can be treated. Hey guys, uh, uh, we have listened to the opinions of most of these people and currently we know exactly where uh, their uh, reasoning capacity is concerning the issue to deal with the mental health issues. Thank you.